Hi, I'm Jordan. Hi, I'm Mitchell Schmidt. And we're going to talk a little bit about the Lemons problem today. That is the theory that there is an imbalance of knowledge between the two parties on a particular subject that leads to investors staying out of the market. George Akerlof showed this through a used car example. Let's say a person with all the information is the used car dealer, and the buyer does not have the information about which cars are good and which cars are poor. The poor cars are the lemons. Those are the ones that are likely to break down right after you buy them. The good ones are the plums, the ones that you want. The dealer knows this, and the buyer does not. So when one person has more information than another, it's called asymmetric information. Without the knowledge of which cars are lemons and which cars are plums, the investor or the buyer just decides to stay out of the market rather than uh, try to buy a car because you can't tell which car dealer is Honest Aid or Shady Bob. The human reaction to this is just to get out of the market entirely so it hurts all the car dealers, not just Shady Bob. This is much like the problem that we face in the economy during the recession. Used cars could represent mortgage-backed securities, which played a major factor in why the recession happened. These securities were made up of mortgages, which were sliced and diced and placed together to spread out the risk for banks. These mortgage-backed securities were invested in people, much like your car buyer here, who had no idea what he was buying. He didn't know that he was buying mortgages that had been chopped and placed together. And bankers told him that this was a good investment anyway, so he went ahead and bought it. It's hard for the buyers to tell which ones were lemons and which ones were plums, much like it was in the used car example. This was going on every day uh, with mortgages in the banks. What they were essentially doing is buying, betting on which uh, people would pay back the mortgages or not. They didn't know that people were given loans who had little chance of paying them back, and these were called subprime mortgages. At first this was okay because the the price of homes were going up so much, they were blowing up a huge bubble. And this was all right, so if people couldn't pay back their mortgages, uh, banks could sell the homes and still remain solvent. Well, when the bubble popped, this caused huge problems for the economy. And those who invested in these mortgage-backed securities lost all their money. You might be thinking, well, how is this a lemons problem? Due to the fact investors could not tell which banks were plums and which ones were lemons, they, couldn't, they didn't know which ones had subprime mortgages, so they just remained out of the market entirely. Due to a decline in economic activity, even banks that were plumps didn't get business. This decreased economic activity, decreased aggregate expenditure, and caused problems for the economy as a whole. So next time you invest, make sure you know your fruits and do your banking with Honest Al instead of Shady Bob.